I have my breakfast here. You saw me make that. Got my calorie book here to write my breakfast in. And I have a coffee here. This is my second coffee. We already did our morning coffee with the neighbor and my mother-in-law because it is Tuesday morning. It is December 11th. I'm not sure of the date, but I think it's December 11th. It's Tuesday. So this is just what you saw me pour. The 45 grams of the sugar-free peppermint mocha and 11 grams usually I do 15 but I just did 11 for some odd reason I don't know so I just did 11 grams of the mint chocolate chip syrup blueberries two scrambled eggs Asiago cheese a half an ounce of that and that is breakfast this morning I, I am loving the Asiago cheese on everything lately and especially in my chili I'm gonna have chili for lunch because we still have leftover chili to have so I'm gonna have that for lunch with Asiago cheese again so good Tomorrow, Afternoon, guys. I have a chili here with half an ounce of cheese. That's the Asiago cheese, of course. And then I started a new diamond painting. This is the Naked Kitty, is what I call it. Let me show you a picture. That is what she will look like. It's one of those naked cats with bat wings. And I, I just fell in love with it. It is a round diamond. I wasn't... This, I got this I got this painting back when I was into round diamond painting, and now I really like the square a lot better, but I still want to finish this up. And as you can see, the round, they have like, the mat is colored, but you can still see there's like spaces in between. So you really have to put this under glass in order for it to be protected from hair and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I like it though. So far, it's been fun to do. I only did this little square here, but I it, it just seems so weird doing the round now versus the square. <laughs> so I have to get used to that. But that is what I'm working on this month. I forgot to show you my iced quad espresso. I asked for a quad espresso over ice in a venti cup, and then I add a premier protein chocolate to it. You can add any flavor that you want. You can add the caramel, you can add the vanilla or the chocolate or whatever kind you want in here, but that's what this is. Really good, I love this stuff. Three points for this, two points for this. I forgot to mention that. You guys, I'm having my third cup of coffee, and I actually got this mug from Teresa Jolly. Isn't it cute? I love fairies, love them. And I don't even think I mentioned that on my channel. So it was so cool to get this mug in the mail. It was so awesome. And it's on both sides. Love it. It's so cute. So thank you, Teresa. I absolutely love it. But you already know that because I messaged you and told you that. But I absolutely love it. So this is one point in my third cup, which will probably be the end because, yeah, it's getting dark outside. And it's we still got snow, guys. Yay. I would love more snow. I really would. I would love more snow. But we are not getting any snow. I'll live, though. I will live. Oh, and I've got great news. I'll tell you about it at the end of this video. I'm trying this bubble up casserole in my rock crock, and I will let you guys know how it turns out. look at how good this fiesta taco bubble up casserole looks in this pot it looks beautiful does it not look beautiful i can't help it i want to eat this right now it's got to go back in the oven for about 15 minutes because it's been on for about 35 40 minutes with the cover on and now i've removed ouch that's hot i removed the cover now it says to put it back in for 15 minutes and when I made this, I totally forgot to put the taco seasoning on the hamburger. So I quick put the, I sprinkled it all over the top and then I just mixed it all up. 
so that's why it looks so funny and looks like it was like went through the ringer because it did it went through the ringer so we'll see if it works out okay it has all the ingredients in there i just mixed it all up and it i don't know it turns out pretty turned out pretty darn good i thought because i do not want to figure this out in servings of six i am doing this in four so i cut it in half this way and in half this way so this right here is a serving and i'm going to refigure the points and i'll put it down below look at how fabulous that comes out it's so wonderful and i didn't grease this pan or anything and this is a pretty big bowl so this will fill me up good for dinner tonight hey guys i'm having a banana for a nighttime snack hopefully this will hold me over because i don't want to eat anything else because i'm right at my calories that i want to be at and i don't want to go over today or for the rest of the week so please wish me luck Hi guys, I can't talk long because my phone is about to die, but I wanted to get on here quick and just tell you that I had to get on here because I was feeling like eating everything and I know I'm not hungry because I just ate a banana. So I wanted to share with you some cards that I got in the mail really quick before my phone dies. You bring joy to Christmas and this is from Judy Rivet. Thank you, Judy. Love the card. Very cute card too. And then we have from Teresa Parker. And you guys, I feel terrible for Teresa. And look at this card. Isn't this gorgeous? It's a glitter card. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And then she wrote a letter to me in there. And I would like you guys to pray for Teresa because she just recently lost her husband in September. And I don't know what I would do if that happened to me. I can't even imagine how hard that would be. So please... Pray for Teresa and pray that everything goes well for her and pray that she has great holiday even though she's without her spouse. And oh my gosh, that would just be so horrific to go through that. We'll definitely be praying for you here. My next card is from, from Tess and her name is Teresa as well. And she wrote me a nice card and she sent me a gift. She sent me this gift and it is, it well, it's a cup, it was a cup. And as you can see, this is really smashed in right here and I, and I saw on the bottom that it said mug. So I'm like, oh boy, I hope it's not busted, but it wasn't, it was just fine. And you guys saw the mug earlier on my channel. I was having coffee in it already because I loved it. It's um, a fairy mug and I love fairies. So I'm not sure how she knew that, but maybe she didn't and maybe it was totally accidental, but I love fairies. And then this card is really cute. It's from Kathy Johnson. It's a snowman card and I love it. Absolutely love it. She wrote a nice card, a nice um, letter in there as well. Thank you guys so much for all of these cards and the gifts you guys send me. They are so, all so special. You guys should have my card or if you don't, you should get it soon. For all the people that I have ad had addresses for, my address if you want it is in my about section of my channel so that's always in there if you guys want my address for any reason at all let's get right to my calorie count i did count my calories yesterday i slipped up and i didn't count all my calories but i'll kind of show you what i have because it was it wasn't a great day yesterday i have to tell you let me flip you around okay so today this is december 11th on tuesday i had my coffee of course my breakfast was two eggs, Asiago cheese, and the blueberries. You saw that on my breakfast video. Lunch was chili, Asiago cheese, and coffee. 250 for the chili, 55 for the cheese, 47 for my coffee. Dinner was the bubble up casserole. Now this was the Taco Fiesta bubble up casserole, and it usually is 460 if you have six servings. We had four servings, so it went up to 690 calories. So that's what we had for that one. And also the points went up to, I believe, nine instead of seven. The quad espresso, I had one of those while we were out and about today. So 160 for the premium protein, 20 for the espresso. I had a medium banana at the end of the night for 100. Another coffee earlier, and then six pieces of gum for 10. Now my total came to, after I added the 230 for the extra dinner, 1,721 were my daily calories. This is the breakdown of the bubble up casserole. I'm not gonna go through it all, but I'll show it to you if you wanna pause the video and check it out. Now this is for six servings for this dish. So the calories would be 460 to 480, depending on if you use light sour cream, one tablespoon or two tablespoons. It's 20 or 40. So I used, I didn't actually use any of this. So actually I should actually use 
I should be 20 less than this. So it's 1,700, not 21. So I will take that off of there. So it should be 700 there. I always get something wrong on my calorie count. So that is it for the day. And yesterday, I'll give you a quick little run through because I didn't do a video. I did just a partial video yesterday and I got preoccupied. So I stopped filming, but this was my breakfast. I had eggs and Asiago. I was doing good there. Lunch was chilly. That was pretty good. And then dinner, I had the roast beef, which was okay. And I think I taped most of this stuff. But then I had snack. I started snacking, guys, and I had four rice cakes, and then I had more rice cakes with a laughing cow for each rice cake. So that really upped my points. I probably was over. I should sit down and figure it out. But that, I don't know. I don't know. Today I told myself no rice cakes, and I did not have a one. So that was much better. I, those rice cakes, I don't know, they get to me, especially now that I have the the. Um, Laughing cow cheese. I love that laughing cow cheese on there. When I used to have PB2, I could limit myself to two rice cakes. I should go back to doing that because I just, I love those rice cakes. So that is my calorie count for today. This is totally accurate, everything I had. And this one, yesterday's, is probably pretty close to that. Even though I had all those rice cakes, the points on these things are not that high, or the calories on this are not that high, really. And then I had 250 here, and um, I'm not sure what the roast beef was. I think the roast beef was around 200. And then the potatoes, I'm not sure how much five smart points worth is. It was about five to six ounces of potatoes. So I'm not sure how much that is. So I'll sit down and figure it out, and then I'll show you in the next video. Hey guys, that is all I have for you today. I actually had a really good day today. I stuck to my points. I stuck to my calories. Well, pretty much. I was a couple hundred over what I really want to be. But all I know for sure is I want to be, for sure, under 2,000 calories a day. Prefer to be at 1,500, but if I can't reach the 1,500 level, in between there, closer to the 1,500, which, you know, this was 1,700, so it wasn't too bad. I could have skipped the banana and been at 1600 but you know I needed an extra fruit anyway you guys time for the surprise I'm so excited to share this with you guys I was talking to my son earlier and I was just telling him how much I really miss the kids I miss them so much when they left I was just like lost for a little bit so I miss them so so much and I know they miss me Ada calls me all the time and she just tells me she misses me and wants to come back to my house so I just I miss them so much so I was telling him how much I miss them and I've been dreaming about them lately because I haven't seen them in so long now and when you have them for so long, I had them for a month, almost a month and a half, and I just, you just get so connected to them. And then when they're gone, it's just like, oh my gosh, now what? <laughs> so I was telling him this, and then his wife contacted me and she said, we were just thinking that maybe the kids could come down in February and visit for maybe a month, two weeks to a month, if they haven't decided yet. I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited to see them again. And we're going to, I guess they're gonna drive all the way here because my son wants to see his dog, Max. Max is his dog and he wants to see Max because he may not get to see him again. Max has been going downhill slowly for the past at least six months or so. And he's old, he's very old for a boxer, he's very old. So we want to be able to see him again for maybe the last time. They're going to drive all the way here, drop off the kids, and then we're going to fly them back home. So it's going to be so exciting. And I won't have to drive or fly because we're going to fly them here and then we'll meet them with the kids and then they'll take the kids and fly home. So it's perfect. It's just perfect. And I am so excited and I had to share that with you guys. So February at some point, I'm not sure the exact date yet. We'll figure that out later. But in February, I get my babies back for probably a month again. I'm really, really excited. This time I'm going to do better at eating though. I really will. I promise you I will do better at eating. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I was so excited. That is all I have for you today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share it if you think anybody may like this these videos. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can get this up tonight. If not, I'll try to go to my niece's house tomorrow and get it uploaded. I have a couple videos that are ready to go that need to be uploaded, but of course I can only do one at a time and I've done a couple videos now. My collab is going out tomorrow, which you guys would have already seen by the time you see this. That is it guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.